hey beauties welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video guys we're actually going to be doing a review of the new christian louboutin powder foundation so if you guys would like to see my thoughts and feelings how it looks on my skin tone keep on watching so beauties the long and anticipated christian louboutin tint la powder foundation refill i have finally got my hands on this so the reason for the, the delay for this powder is that i was literally between two shades i was between the shade mocha nude 55n and then 65 ebony nude so ah, there was just a bit of a debate of which shade i was actually going to pick up but beauties the wait is now over because i have my hands on the new christian louboutin powder so beauties i actually picked this up about two days ago i went down to selfridges because i was like you know what i'm not neutral as you guys can see my skin tone is very warm i am golden and the only shade they had was neutral as the deepest shade that was available the funniest thing is i, I was actually thinking of getting that shade but i was just like i'm not neutral i'm not neutral let me just go down see them and how they look physically because obviously it's one thing how you see it on the website and then it's a different thing when you actually get to test it out and try it out so i actually did manage to do a swatch of the ebony nude and that shade was far too red even though it is warm i said there's no way i'm gonna get that shade plus that shade was actually unavailable so i ended up getting the alternative shade that i originally wanted to get was the mocha nude so i'm very happy about that so I'm happy I can finally do a review on this. So this is the new Christian Louboutin Le Powder Foundation Refill and it retails £40. So the way that this powder foundation is described as, we've said it before and we'll say it again, there's nothing better than a multi-purpose makeup product. And with that in mind, Christian Louboutin's latest formula will certainly be a new staple in our collection. I'm definitely interested in this powder, hence the reason I picked it up. So this is supposed to go all over the face. They say that you're supposed to start with the center and then work outwards to sculpt, warm the complexion, apply the powder to the whole contour of the face from the forehead to the chin and under the cheekbone area. So it's made in Italy and the case and the refills are sold separately. This is how the bag came. Oh my gosh, guys, I actually smelled their perfume as well. I smelled Luby Kiss that oh my gosh guys that perfume smelled so good and it retails for about 235 pounds i'm like oh my god i would have to get that as like some kind of birthday present or something for myself because lord knows that is expensive so this is the red signature box if you guys don't know christian louboutin is known for having the red soles hence the reason we have the red box i absolutely love this and then this is how the case looks so as you guys know i always do a little preview videos of what makeup i have picked up and then probably the video is always up the next day but i was definitely excited about getting my hands on this this is how it looks and then once you open it that's how it looks so the way you're supposed to fit it is that you should be able to fit the foundation in so it came in another little package box like this that is i'm hoping this should be a match because the lady actually told me that the one thing about this is that this powder foundation actually oxidizes it and it actually goes a bit darker so originally as you guys know i was going to get ebony nude did a swatch of it the other day far too warm i got the next shade 55 n mocha nude she actually said to me that this might be a bit too dark for me but the next shade up i think it was like cinnamon or something and i did a swatch i just thought no that shade is far too light so i'm hoping mocha nude does work for me so as you guys know i have already done my base i have already put my my powder on and all of that so hopefully this should work it is definitely soft to the touch there is also definitely a smell so i think it's warm enough there's enough brown in there but i could definitely tell that the next shade up was just gonna be like a no 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 so fingers crossed hopefully this should work before it was like loose guys i'm just like the hell's going on okay guys let's see how this looks on me okay okay 
What do you guys think? Okay, let's get it on. I think this shade is perfect for me too what do you guys think i think this looks really lovely and this is so soft i mean it is hella expensive but you know what i think this looks nice i am so glad i went with this shade because originally she was going to tell me to go another shade up and i just thought no way that is going to look far too ashy on me so I'm just having a look in the mirror. Yeah, this is a good shade. I'm very happy I went with this shade. Okay, beauties. So this is how the powder foundation is looking on me. Okay guys, so I thought that I would come back, finish the rest of my makeup and give you guys the finished look of how the powder is looking. Oh my gosh, guys, this powder is hella expensive. It's retailing for like 40 pounds and then the case is like 55 or something. It's literally ridiculous, but you know what? The overall look, I am really, happy with this powder and i'm coming back and i'm filming this video it's about maybe three or four hours later and just the way that it's sitting with the rest of my makeup and the color match i picked up is so good i am so glad that i didn't pick up the deeper shade which is 65w because like i did previously tell you guys that shade is definitely more on the red side so i would say if you're about my complexion i would definitely think about getting the shade 55 and mocha nude that i have this is just looking so good like christian louboutin you have literally outdone yourself with this powder and guys you know i would never recommend something to you that hasn't worked for me because this powder is hella expensive and the powder and the case is sold separately and I don't know if you guys are noticing like me but i am definitely seeing more companies selling the powder and things like separate i don't know if that's like a quick money grab or what but this powder is looking really good and just to let you guys know i do have dry skin i don't think i will be wearing this powder in the autumn winter because i do have dry skin so I just don't think that it would work I personally wear powder foundations in the summer because it is hot I don't want to feel like I do have a lot of makeup on I definitely think that I would wear this powder more or less in the summer in the summertime but because it is turning September now we're going into autumn I don't think ideally this would be my kind of powder but I mean then again if you are somebody that does have oily skin this could be great for you but it's definitely worked well um you guys are gonna have to get back to me and let me know what you guys are thinking of this powder but so far i'm literally loving it it's sat in with the rest of my makeup my other my makeup has not even moved i would say that well, obviously once you do open the powder foundation you can definitely smell it but once it's on the face i would say you can you can't more or less smell it well i personally can't but overall i'm definitely happy with the finished look i would definitely say it literally depends on you and what you're willing to spend if you want to spend 40 pounds on a foundation do it if you want to spend 55 pounds on the case you can do it i definitely think it's down to you but i'm definitely happy i did pick this up it's just a shame like i told you guys i literally won't be wearing this powder until next year but i mean this is definitely one i'm definitely going to be testing out more in the summer because i would say in the summertime i was more or less wearing the dior one if you guys saw my dior 
velvet powder foundation that powder foundation is the one that I've been wearing in the summertime the summer just gone I've literally just been wearing that for the past couple months like for the last couple months I've been wearing that and to the fact that the powder foundations I'm picking up are neutral which is like completely strange because as you guys can see from my complexion I'm very much pulling warm golden -y shades and for me to pick up something neutral the thought of having something neutral it just literally washes me out this powder actually hasn't done it which is very surprising because this is a neutral powder I have on but it just hasn't washed me out as you guys can see but yeah you guys let me know what do you think of this powder are you guys gonna go and get this powder i have to say i'm happy with it so beauties that is the ending of this video do let me know we'll be picking up the powder and do make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel and i will definitely be seeing you guys again soon bye